people, it don't happen. No. So Tinubu said, I told Peter Obi, they asked me to speak. And I said, and he said, I should go to Bishop Koka. So this is what is happening. Bishop Koka, uh, Peter Obi, and the president, Tinubu, are all in this web. And then we're trying to understand what exactly is going on in all of this. Yes, you can see for a fact that, you know, things... Uh, it's not all that you think about uh, it that is really happening. There is more going on. Yes, so uh, Peter Obi is presently in court over what has happened and is trying to make sense of why. Okay, why should, you know, why should, you know, um, him, you know, why should he, you know, lose when he feels he won? Um, and evidences are being called upon, witnesses rather, are being called upon to give evidences, including our brother, um, Atlaji Atiku Abubakar. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Tinubu, I told Obi, they asked me to speak and he said I should go. Bishop Koka, Bishop Matthew Koka of the Catholic Diocese said he told Peter Obi, Labour Party presidential candidate, that they should ask him to speak at the inaugural lecture of Bola Ahmed Tinobu, and Peter Obi asked him to go. To go. Bishop Matthew Coker disclosed this in an interview with Arise TV during the premium time program when he was responding to Charles. Our question is of where where he delivered his courage from, where he derives it from, by speaking to power without minding the consequences, especially with how he was criti criticized Buhari's administration. Bishop Matikoka responded that, f that funny enough, President Buhari never got angry with him. I think he, Buhari, also understand where I'm coming from and that he doesn't it didn't start yesterday, and I never attempted to insult or abuse anyone. Bishop Matikuk has said, until now, there is no precedent that have challenged him, maybe because they knew his heart is in the right place and he is close to them all. Let me give you an example. Former Abu Salim, when I got the invitation to speak, I called him that I'm surprised. They asked me to speak, and he said to me, you make us unhappy but we know you are honest i shared the letter of invitation to peter obi that's my friend that's my friend that this is what is happening and he asked me to speak and peter obi said to me i am very delighted please go because i know what you will, what you'll be saying you know so this was what happened bishop Matthew Koka has come out to tell Nigerians that this, you know, these things happened, and um, he, you know, the power, those in power knows, you know, they know that he means well, they know that he wants the best for the country. So these are some of the things that have happened, and a lot of persons, a lot of people do really want the honest truth, uh, but they don't know how to go about the truth, you know. So he really talked about, you know, how things have been in the last couple of days, and you know, why Nigerians must take it rather very seriously, you know, and understand, you know, the days that we are that we are that we are in right now. So it is important for you to to know this. You know, Bishop Matthew Koka, you know, said when he was invited, he had to tell Peter Obi that ah, Tinobu has invited me Obla. He said, he said, Okay, go. Go. Tinobu said, eh, you know, he said he should go. Bishop Matthew Koka said, you know, said Peter Obi said he should go because he knows that he will speak well. And it will speak, you know, the right thing to power. What do people know you for? It starts, you don't, you don't have to be up all the way up there before you speak the truth. From the corner where you are, when you are given an opportunity, how do people see you? How do people, you know, what, what's, their, what's your taste in their taste bowl? How do they refer to you? Do they say, don't mind him or don't mind her? That's the way it goes. If you, it's not, it's easily, it's not, it's neither here nor there. You know, it just turns whatever way you find is just is not somebody that you can depend on upon. Is you know, it's very you know, it does it doesn't have any integrity. Is that the way they see you? Is that the way you're being perceived? Or that's the honest truth? So you must make sure that 
you rewrite your narrative by being honest. For Bishop Matthew Coca, you start from your little corner. They know, you know, he speaks, you know, they know the way, they know the way he, he goes about things, how he speaks. He said he was surprised that Buhari was never even angry with him, not for once, with how much he criticized the government, the insecurity, you know, and all that was happening, corruption. He said, but they never go angry with him because they know he had a good heart and they knew that he had a good intention. And so when he was invited by Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he said he had to tell Peter Obi. And Obi said, go, because I know that you will speak the truth. Go and, you know, I know you will tell them the right thing. The only truth and nothing but the truth. You know, that's that's someone who has looked at things. And, um, you know, for him to even call Peter Obi speaks volume. He tells you where his heart he is, you know, and how, you know, he's seeing things and the way things are. That's the kind of person we're talking about. That's just the kind of person we're talking about. So honesty, it's it, honest, being honest is a language. Being honest is a language. What language are you speaking? What language are you speaking? What, how do people perceive you? What do they see? You know, when they're talking about you, how, how do you come across? We need to be careful because it's not just here that, you know, we, we're talking about the things, not just here. It goes a long way. In that little group where you're just the, the secretary, you're just the treasurer, or you're a member, your, your membership, there is a way you can comport and carry yourself. And when there is a vacancy and a position, they'll say, no, that woman, that man is a man of integrity. If you give him or her responsibility, the way he handles it, the way she handles it, oh dear, you know that you are, you are in good hands, you are in safe hands. I think we should give such and such this responsibility if we want the truth to be manifested and we want the right thing to be done. That's how it rules. Not you, you know, agreeing with everything, doing every, oh my dear, you can't go very far. You can't go very far with that. You can't. You can't go very far. You can't. People know you, you know. You youth are the one who think they don't know you. They know you very well. They do. They know you very well. They do. So it is what it is. It is what it is. And it is important we understand this. It is important that we begin to, you know, align with what is right and put things right in position so that at the end of the day, we're not a laughing stock. Yes? So at the end of the day, we can truly begin to, you know, reflect the good values and the truth that is needed to bring us to where we need to be. Remember, you have a voice. So let's speak out and speak against everything and anything that does not move us forward as a nation. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.